All right, class, I hope you enjoyed that hike we had through the rock formations. This was to be a little hint for you all while you're making your maps of the area. Now remember, this is a five by five mile area that we are hiking along, so make sure that you are staying in your groups, you have your walkie talkies, and you are alerting any TAs if any you come across maybe a rattlesnake or anything like that. And you can also feel free to call the TAs or myself if you have any questions about an area, about a formation you're unsure about, you're having trouble identifying, or any geologic formations that are giving you trouble. So remember to be making your maps and it's not a problem if you make any mistakes on this because this is just the field map so you will be redoing it and making a nice copy to turn in so this one's okay to get kind of messy all right so feel free to use a white down on it whatever erase kind of just lightly color in things so again what we're looking for on the maps is we want you to map out the geologic formations we want you to take strikes and dips so you can tell the angles of the plates and how planes and how they are all forming and how they've kind of changed throughout time because we do know that certain formations are older than others so when you see something up where it shouldn't be then you're going to know that there's some kind of fold happening there right perfect so um who can remind me what are good ways for us to be testing our formations to check what minerals are there Right, so yes, it is important. You all have your rock hammers, so you can kind of chisel a piece of the rock off so you can get a fresh surface to look at and observe. That's good because that can show you color. Mm -hmm. Good, anything else? Yes, so you could also test with the HCL, our little acid dropper, and see if that bubbles up. That'll tell you if there's calcium in there because it'll react with the HCL and it'll bubble. Yes. Good points, good points. Okay, and then, you know, color. Yes, stuff like that. Composition. Is it a silty material? Is it a big conglomerate? Perfect. Okay. So yeah, make sure that you are all within your groups. Um, I think that's about it. Just today is just kind of finish up your mapping if you haven't already so just hike to those places that you haven't been to and if you are pretty finished you can stay close to the vehicles they will they're always going to stay right here so everybody knows just like every other day and in case you need more water or sunscreen that is in the back of the vans too or if you ever just need to cool off from the heat because it is going to be a hot one today okay so make sure that you all are staying very hydrated take your lunch breaks take your gatorades you know drink lots and lots of water okay and then if you if you are finished mapping you can stay by the cars like i said and you can either work on doing your final map or you can work on the end of the semester project which is going to be identifying rocks from your box that we've given you all, okay? Yeah, all right, so you can all head out, make sure you stay on your walkie-talkies, listen for any updates on any areas with snakes or anything like that, and let us know if you're having any trouble. I will be hiking around to and available for any questions, as well as the TAs. Oh, and then we will be doing a strike and dip check, so make sure you understand how to use your brunt and compass, okay? Make sure you know how to calculate the strike and dip of the plane, okay? Okay, well, we'll be checking that. We are also going to do a coordinate check because we all want you to be aware of where you are on the map, okay? So make sure you are staying aware of your surroundings and you can locate pretty closely where you are on the map, okay? Good. Hey, yeah, you have a question? How can I help you? You want to know a little bit more about the rock box okay yeah so everybody got a little box just like this and when you open it up it 
is going to be full of little unidentified rock samples, okay? So you have a four, one, two, three, four by four, two, three, four. So 16 samples. And some people's will repeat, some people's have different rocks, so you can kind of work in groups a little bit, but keep in mind, this is your final project of this class. So it will need to be your final judgments on what each mineral is. So remember, there are plenty of different ways to examine these minerals and crystals. Some important things can be looking at how the crystals form, grow more. So it's important to look at the shape of the crystals. Some of them are hexagonal, monoclinic, very for me, so it's important to look at the crystal shape as well. It's important to observe color, so you may want to break some of the specimens you have been given to check a clean, fresh surface to make sure the color that you're observing is the true color of the crystal or mineral. You're also going to want to look at which is basically the shine. Is it metallic? Is it shiny? Is it dull? Does it look like a metal, basically? You're going to want to look at cleavage planes, uh, rocks, or crystals that are formed generally. Break on their weak points, which are these planes, and they can form a very
well, I hope you enjoyed your trip out here. Remember to stay hydrated, keep your fluids up, definitely put on sunscreen. I can see you're getting a little pink, okay? Yeah, your cheeks are a little rosy. Mm -hmm. So you should probably go hang out by the car. Alright, radio, radio in if you need any help. I'm gonna go start making my rounds and going checking on groups. We've got to start doing testing. Um, just because you're staying at the cars does not mean you won't get tested on your location and your strikes and dips, okay? Yeah, we'll probably take you out a little ways and then ask you where you are and then to check the strike and dip of the plane, okay? Yeah, so make sure you remember how to do that. I'll see you around a little later or one of the TAs, okay? They'll be testing. So stay hydrated, stay in the shade, put on sunscreen. Bye.